Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we are working on this react router concept that is favorite button. So you can design this favorite button, the button you can have that you can write the CSS to design this one. But I am not writing the CSS because we are focusing on the core logic. Now when I click on this one, when I click on this favorite button, if you try to see when I am trying to change the link, a slight opacity effect we are able to achieve it. So why? Because we are getting the opacity thing. We have used this use navigation hook when we are trying to move from one location to another location. So we are implementing this one. Fine. So everything is working fine. Now when I click on this button, then also the form is getting submitted. We have used this router form concept and this form is also getting submitted. And this form, when you are trying to do the post request, if you go to the main.jsx, so for this one, we have added a action, favorite action. So now whenever you are having a form, then this one will try to call the action favorite action. Now when this action is sitting submitted, so that router is thinking that it is navigating from one page to another page. That is nothing but the same page it is navigating. Why? Because we, do, we haven't mentioned any post. So we haven't mentioned any, where is this action thing? Yeah, we haven't mentioned any math action. So that is the reason it is trying to submit to the same page only. And here, just like the link it is moving, so it is getting uh, refreshed. But here the form when it, we are trying to submit it, so it should not uh, go to the other page. So it should be, so the form should be submitted, but the React should behave in such a way that the page is not moving. So how we can implement this one? So we have an, another hook that is nothing but fetcher hook. So using this fetcher hook, the form will be submitted to the action without refreshing this page, not refreshing this page without mutating the page. So how we can do how we can do this one. So let's implement this feature. Let fetcher is equal to use fetcher. OK, so we have implemented this use fetcher. Now when this fetcher we got it. So you need to implement this one in the fetcher dot form. That's it. So now when you have applied this fetcher dot form, now when you click on this button, the same button, now this time the form is not getting submitted. But if you try to see here the action which you have mentioned the console.log request, if I go to the inspect element and if you try, if I try to observe here, so if I click on this favorite button, see the request has been get submitted. Now we are able to see the all the request. Now the form is getting submitted to the favorite action. Now what I want to do? So here I want to update the form request. So here if you try to see this is the request. Now this is the form which is submitted, right? So these are all the form data you will be having in uh, these all the form data you will be having in the request dot form data. So how can I get this one? So here let's try to apply form data is equal to request dot form data. Okay. So let's try to console dot log of form data. Okay. Now let's see in the inspector mode whether we are able to get the form data or not. Now when I try to click on this one, favorite, it'll try to solve that issue also. When I click on this one, so you are returning a promise. So that means this request of form data always returns a promise. Then I want this promise to be resolved. So here I can use await. That's it. Now if I click on this one, so now here we should be able to get the form data. Okay, this one is a form data. Now here, if you want to get the form data, so here you can write form data of get of favorite. So this is the favorite which you are having that data. And here, for example, let's say that you can also use the get all also. Let's try to see get all. Now, if you click on this one, let's okay. Get all is not available. It is saying okay. Let's try to get this get all. Uh, is let's see what what is the methods available in the form data let's click on this one again click on this one so here you will be able to get the form data and here we are having a get all i don't know why it is not getting so fine let's leave it and here form data dot get of favorite so i will be using the favorite okay now let's see whether we are able to get the output or not if i try to click on this one so we are able to get the true. Now here, 
So here we are having the button value is equal to favorite, right? So that is the reason we are able to. Now this time this is is a false. When a user clicks on this one, so true will be written. Now what I need to do here? So we got the form favorite. Okay, let favorite is equal to let favorite is equal to form data dot get of favorite. So I got the favorite. Now what I need to do? So I need to update the contact details. So we in our contacts dot js file we already have the update contact so now we can use make use of this update contact and we need to pass the contact id and we need to pass the updates what is the whatever the keys you want to update it fine so let's here write return await update contact so i want to pass the contact id so here the contact id is available in the params params is nothing but the data which the dynamic value which you will be able to see if i try to show you this params i will show you this params also console.log of params and if i see here the output for this one if i click here see this is the params now here we need to pass this return of contact id and i am console i am return of contact id so that means it should be params dot contact id and i need to pass the favorite so here nothing but favorite i can pass it directly like this why because favorite we are having the key name is the favorite and the value also we are storing in the same thing so we can pass this one i am returning the return high so now we are able to get this value now here if i click on this one so let's see what will happen if i click on this one the contact will be updated immediately see this time this has been converted into a favorite one if i click here again now the favorite has will be converted into a normal one so here it's not happening why it is not happening favorite we are trying to send. let's try to send it again so we are trying to send it again oh so fa fa form data of get of favorite we will get it as favorite let's see what will be the favorite for this one see it should pass actually true or false right let's see whether we are able to get it or not so we are getting this false as a string if you try to see the type of type of favorite and here if i click on this one let's see what will happen see it is a string so it should not be a string so then what we need to do get of favorite is equal to is equal to true okay so then you will be getting an um, what i can say the uh, valid data now here if i try to click on this one so now we should be able to get the value so now we are able to remove this favorite now if i try to click on this one again now this one will be converted into a, like this now it is a favorite one now if i want to remove the favorite i can remove the favorite directly now it has been removed so this is how we will be updating the contact details now if you try to see here um, what i can say so update contact everything is working fine and now this is the problem which we are able to see it right so here this is the control components and control components i think where is this control components I think in the root.jsx it is control components in the search bar. So search bar is the only thing which we have come. Okay, this queue at the first time it will be empty. So fine. So here we don't have any query parameter, right? So okay, let's try to make it as an empty. And here if queue is there, then you can use it, or otherwise you can make it as an empty. Now I hope the error will go away. Yes, the error has been gone. So this is how we will be updating the favorite thing. So now we have seen this favorite thing. But here, if you try to observe, one problem is there. Not problem. If I click on, if I want to remove this favorite, I clicked on this one. So I am waiting some couple of seconds for this one to remove the favorite. Why? Because here the form is getting submitted and it is updating in the back uh, in the back end with the update contact API until this update uh, contact API is success. Then the loader will be called, and in this loader we are getting all the contact details, and then afterwards this favorite will be updated. So instead of doing these all the things, let's first update this favorite, and in the backend, let's try to take everything. Let's try to implement that one everything in the backend. So first, we need to update this favorite, right? So we can implement this one using uh, using this fetcher only. I'll try to explain you in the next video. So this is the code which we will try to implement the form submitting without refreshing this page, without mutating the page. So here fetcher form, and I will commit this entire code, and here I will sync the pages. 
so if you want to refer this code yeah, the repository link is provided in the description below so you can have that repository link and you can refer this code if you as usual if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you